Life on the Fast Lane is the 11th episode of The Simpsons' first season, yet the 9th one aired. It originally aired on March 18, 1990. In this episode, Marge becomes unhappy when her birthday present from Homer is a bowling ball, which she clearly intended for himself, and she doesn't even know how to bowl. Despite Homer, Marge sets out to learn to bowl, and she ends up taking lessons from an instructor named Jacques, who pursues an affair with her. The episode starts with Bart and Lisa making breakfast in bed for Marge's birthday. When they surprise her, Homer thinks it's his birthday, but when he realizes it's Marge's, he rushes to the mall and gets a bowling ball. Hey, that rhymed. On the phone, Patty and Selma tell Marge about Homer's lousy gift-giving history, and they want to take Marge to the Singing Sirloin as a real gift. At the Singing Sirloin, everyone shows their gifts, and when Homer's bowling ball gift ruins Marge's birthday cake, a furious Marge says that she's never bowled in her life. Later that night, Homer tries to justify why he got the bowling ball, but Marge doesn't buy it. She plans to take bowling lessons to teach Homer a lesson. Homer, I'm keeping the ball for myself. What? But you don't know how to bowl. Whoops. I'm keeping it, and I'm going to use it. Thank you for the present, Homer. Well, you're welcome. The next day, while Marge is at Barney's Bowlerama, a French-accented man named Jacques comes up to her and offers bowling lessons, and clearly trying to seduce her. Back at home, Homer takes care of the kids, and when Marge tells Homer that she'll bowl again tomorrow night, he starts getting suspicious. The next night, Jacques gives Marge a wrist guard, and when he drops her home, he invites her to brunch. Homer notices she came home late again, but he stays silent. The next morning, when Marge showers the kids with love, Lisa starts to suspect that Marge and Homer's marriage is crumbling, but Bart is in denial. At brunch, Jacques asks Marge to meet him at his apartment, and she faints. In Marge's fainting dream, Jacques and her are fancily dressed, and then they dance, and land on a bed, about to make love. I've been waiting for you. Come in, my captivating one. May I have this dance? Sure. Whoa. You certainly have a lot of bowling trophies. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I like you so much. <laughs> They're not for bowling, Marge. You're so naive. They're for lovemaking. Really? Yes. Oh. Champagne? Please. There, my darling. Thank you. What cosmic force brought us together, Marge? Destiny? Yes. Some divine pin spotter must have placed us side by side. Like two fragile bowling pins. Standing bravely. Until inevitably. We must topple. Mount, speak to me. Is Thursday okay? When Homer notices Marge's wrist guard, he starts getting really scared. When Bart asks him to play catch, he is too depressed to play. After Lisa turns Bart down, he offers Homer advice that he once told Bart himself. Look, Dad, I don't know what's going on, but once you gave me some advice, it might help. I gave you advice. Get out of here. Yeah, you did. You told me when something's bothering you and you're too damn stupid to know what to do, just keep your full mouth shut. At least that way you won't make things worse. Mm -hmm. Good advice. The next day, a clearly depressed Homer tells Marge that he doesn't believe in keeping feelings to yourself, and he heads off to work. Meanwhile, Jacques is planning to really make the moves on Marge. At work, Homer is too sad to eat his sandwich, as he believes it is the only thing he has left of Marge. Domestic situation. While Marge is on the way to Jacques, she's reminded of lifetime commitment, as she sees various couples together. When she encounters a fork in the road, one leading to Jacques, the other leading to Homer, she cannot decide where to go. Meanwhile, a depressed Homer is at work, and Marge comes in and taps him on the shoulder, and the two make up. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Huh? Huh? Marge! What a lovely surprise! You're here to see me, right? Of course! Tell him I'm going to the back seat of my car with a woman I love, and I won't be back for ten minutes. This episode will forever remain as one of my favorite because basically Marge tries to teach Homer a lesson about thoughtfulness, but Marge herself ends up learning a lesson about commitment. This episode introduced us to Jacques. He doesn't have any major roles in future episodes, but he plays a great antagonist in this one. Overall, this episode is another classic, and Albert Brooks was perfect for the role of Jacques. However, this wasn't the first time Brooks was on the show, as he lended his voice to the RV vendor two episodes ago. This episode also introduced us to Helen Lovejoy, the gossipy wife of Reverend Timothy Lovejoy. 